Hello folks, Foxlo here again with uh, another No Man's uh, Sky video. Uh, making this video to <coughs> give my take on trying to find an S-Class ship. Because, um, funny enough, um, I actually found one today. So I thought I'd um, video my take on how to do it, go about it. It is long-winded and um, does take a while. You have to have a bit of patience, but um, doing this is best to do it once you've got your base set up and you've got enough money, because the uh, the method that I'm using to try and find an S-class ship <coughs> is expensive, um, and I'll show you why in a minute when we get into the game. Um, yeah, I was quite taken aback. I was looking for. Um, where I am now, I was looking for a shuttle to replace the shuttle that I bought in my freighter. I spent about an hour and a half in my freighter waiting for ships to come in and they came in very slowly in my freighter um, and the ships that I found, I'll show you what I've got so far, I've um, print screened them, um, Miss B, she's an explorer, i found she's an A-class and uh, it took quite a while to find her. I think it was about an hour and ten minutes, I think, before that particular class came by. And she's um, only got 19 slots. But um, the amount of times that I've been searching now, it looks like then no I haven't haven't seen a 48 slot ship at all. I haven't seen a single ship with any warp drives on it, other than the hyperdrives. And so that has changed since the update because you used to be able to see um, 48 slot ships landing on certain areas they did cost a bit i think the cheapest one i saw prior to the update was about 131 million um but you saw them now i have been looking a lot and i cannot find a single one that's above 28 or 30 slots as you can see my miss hippo stupid names i know but there you go she's a 30 slot i waited quite a while for her as well and she's only a b class this is my original, which I will never get rid of. I love this ship. The reason I won't get rid of it is because I've got the um, all the water water reactors. I don't have the prints for. I have the blueprints for the theta and the t not, not not the theta, um, the sigma and the tau or tay. I don't know how you pronounce that tay or tau. I don't have the theta um, warp reactor pr uh, print blueprint, so I will never get rid of this ship until I find that warp reactor um, blueprint if I ever do in this playthrough. Um, I'm toying with the idea shortly of um, starting another uh, playthrough but um, giving this saver a backup so I keep this save and because I haven't actually gone very far within the galaxy I've only walked I don't know maybe um, 60 times and I've only moved three times now so I've not actually gone to try and get into the centre of the galaxy. I've just been enjoying the game, exploring. Anyway, let's um, show you what happened to me this morning. Here is my um, shuttle. God, my frame rate because I'm recording a really crap. Um, this is a shuttle I um, got at this particular uh, depot, which is on my planet. Now, this is my first bit of advice when you're doing this, what I'm going to show you. You need to find a... Um, trading depot like this one that is very very busy this is the busiest uh, trading terminal that I've ever found there is a constant supply of uh, ships taking off and landing it's absolutely amazing it's just non-stop um, they continually keep landing taking off landing taking off um, one minute you're gonna get a group of shuttle vehicles landing then there'll be fighters then there'll be cargoes and it's all very quick so you have to run around I'll be showing you what I'm doing and how I go about it but look at this this is what I found this morning 28 slots and all what you see in, the, in here is what I've uh, obtained from um, buying other ships to upgrade it the initial one shuttle I had was a class um, B I think it was um, I waited in my um, freighter to try and find a better class one and they just weren't coming I, like I spent on each ship that I've got quite a long time I spent nearly at least an hour in my freighter trying to hope that 
either an A-Class or an S-Class would show up and it never. So what I decided to do was try the trading station because I remembered that on some trading uh, stations the actual <coughs> movement of the ships is either very low or very high. Now this one that I've currently got, luckily enough, on my base planet, but it's on the other side of the planet because I found it, um, is the ratio of um, ships landing is very high. So I was pleased to find this, albeit it's only 28 slots. But I think this is how the game is um, working now. You'll find these 28 slot ships or low slot ships in the beginning of the area. I think as you go towards the centre, maybe those ships will increase slightly. I don't know, because I've never done it. That's just my supposition of what might happen in the game. But anyway, look at those stats. Damage 19%. 17% um, shield and 19% hyperdrive. Now the hyperdrive on this um, particular ship and any ships that I buy now to me is a waste of time um, with my current ship because I've got Theta, um, Tau and um, Sigma warp drives already on my uh, main ship that I use so I can travel albeit not as far as an explorer would do but I don't have the Theta blueprint so in a sense the hyperdrives are useless to me on any ships that I buy now. That's my opinion anyway, because um, I don't have all three blueprints. Now I could only put two of them on and I'd be missing the Theta. So my way of going to do these ships, I'll do the shields and I'll do the weapons. But as for the hyperdrives, I won't touch it because I won't be using this uh, hyperdrive to other planets. You can store it on your freighter and get jump in your ship which has got all the four hyperdrives and use that to go to the next star system so that's my plan and the reason also that I take um, screenshots of these ships because then I leave the stuff that's in the the ships that I've uh, bought from my freighter and to remember what's in them I just go back to my I put it on my screen and I can then see what's the traitor the well see see what the um, ship has got in its um, inventory if I because you're not going to remember what it's got in if you leave the stuff in so then it's another way of looking and checking what's in your other ships other vehicles that you've got so once I've got this I'll put them down here as well and then you can just um, alt tab in and out to check your ship right I'm happy with this for the moment um, oh let's call me fate at first and I'm going to show you what I do. I also did this because I want some stuff from the freighters. You see all this gear? All this rare stuff, the Radnox and the Callium and the Marine. You don't see that. I've, I've found Radnox on one planet. They're things that hover in the sky and you shoot them down but they're very rare and so I've been buying these up from all the ships that are landing and that's how much I've got so far. This lot what you see here has taken me probably yeah about two hours I did an hour yesterday on this trading station and didn't find any decent ship but I check every ship for um, these items and buy them off them as you can see I was on 170 million the other day I think and I'm now down to 150 this particular ship cost me 3 million 400 thousand to buy from here and um, so let's go to um, my freighter let's get the freighter here and what I would advise when you're looking for a particular ship is be in the ship that you want to buy so if you've got a shuttle and you want to upgrade the shuttle to find a better one be in your shuttle and then you don't have a problem in changing it again I've got to point out you do need a lot of money to do this if you need and want the be better ship because they're going to cost you Initially when you do it in your freighter, like I'm going to show you now. Do it in your freighter first to buy your ship that you want to buy, fighter, shuttle, whatever. And then um, go from there. You could wait in your freighter, but depending on how much traffic is in and out of your freighter. On mine, the traffic was absolutely hopeless. Nothing was coming in. So you're waiting there, waiting for a ship to arrive, hoping it's the style you want. Oh 
show you what I've got now. And yes, you see this fighter? I haven't put this on the screen yet. <coughs> it's the starter ship, isn't it? Crappy looking ship, but... It had 27 slots and it was a B rating, it was the best rating I've found so far. And the reason I actually bought it, I don't like the style, but I've already got the fighter on my original ship, but it doesn't, doesn't have these stats. Um, and what my plan is to use this to find another ship down on the trading depot. Um, the same with my other ships that I've found. Uh, I shall go to the trading depot to try and upgrade them. Waiting here in your freighter to do it, to be quite honest, depending on how much traffic you get, is just a pain in the arse. Um, do it to get your initial one. See, I bought Miss B. And she is... I can't remember what she is now. Oh, she's an A. So what, we, what we'll do, because she's, I've already um, fixed her out with the weapons and everything, I'm going to take her down to the depot and do her the same as I did with my um, shuttle and hope that because I've got an A uh, one now obviously my Miss Hippo she's uh, what was she? She was a B wasn't she? I'm not going to go in there. Let's have a look. Uh, Miss Hippo. Yeah she's a B rating. <coughs> so let's get in and I'll, s I'll show you what I do because I also want to have some of those rare items. So let's go back down to the trading station in my Explorer because now what I will do when I get to the trading station I will only offer to buy the ships or look at their ships for the particular ship that I have currently got because it's a waste of time if you want to keep those uh, that particular style of ship so you go down in the ship that you want to upgrade come on girl and that's a good girl but you look at all the ships to get the stuff that you want if you want to buy stuff so now I'm looking to upgrade her. I want um, obviously an S class or a better A class, albeit she's not too bad, but only 19 slots. So now we wait for the ships to come and look how busy this is. This is like, like this all the time. <clears throat> now I will look at every ship because I'm looking for gear like, I'll go to these two that have just landed. And I'll go to the one that landed first because I want to see if they've got any of these um, now I won't even offer for because I'm not offering um, these because I'm not looking for um, a cargo one at the moment I'm looking for Explorer no he, he hasn't got anything he's got Gex Charm if you want it but I don't want that I want the Moorin, the um, Radnox and the other stuff no I won't make offers on these look he's got Radnox cruel so I'll buy that and again, I've got to it's right. You need money to do this. This system, the way I'm doing it. But while I'm doing this, I'm not wasting my time just looking for an explorer. I don't particularly like these ones because I prefer my old shit. It's too late. Um, I prefer that style. But I will look at all the explorers now because it's um, what I'm looking for. I will probably cut the video a little bit because um, I don't expect you to wait as long as I'm going to have to wait to to find an S-Class ship, see if it'll come along. You see, I'm getting loads of these now, Aquasphere. I've got so many now, I'm not going to buy any more because um, they take up too much room. Um, I've got loads in the other ship, so he's not got anything that I want. Um, where's another one? I did him, didn't I? Or did I? <laughs> you got to remember which one you did. Oh, there's a Explorer. Again, I like Miss uh, B style, not this style. But then, if it's an S-Class and it's better, then I'll take it. But See, these I will look. I will make an offer and have a look at it. That's B-Class, it's crap. So I'll just come out again 
go back in again and see what he's got to sell and this is how I'll be making um, finding all the, the rare um, resource oh there's another one did I look at him did I look at you I can't remember now that's just a minute ago oh look at that A hey, same as me but 19 slots let's have a look is it better than what I've got same slots um, shield is 10% harbour drive is 1% higher um, oh but looking at the um, hmm looking at the layout that is actually better because the shield can come run straight down whereas on this one the shields are off I know it's a pain I've I've actually um, done this <coughs> already <coughs> but that's a thing now I won't do because um, I didn't work this system out before I won't upgrade everything until I'm happy with the final ship um, should I change this let's have a look um, yeah why not um, because the shielding will be better I can move that but I can run the shield so it's better shielded you get better um, results with the shields actually running from the deflector shield itself so these need to be next to that one so yeah let's get rid of these yeah I'm gonna change you see what I mean <laughs> this is why really I shouldn't have done this um, in the beginning can't do any of those no you can't can you okay so I'm going to change this over. Well, we are, the shield is um, worse in the new one. But I'm doing it because I can make the shields a better option by having them in line. So that's my reason for accepting this one. So that's accepted. So now I've got the new one. And then what I would do, I would get in it the new one that you just bought, save restore point save, then reload the save the reason you reload the first, this save get off is because um, it resets the landing your ship that you just got out of will disappear so all the land, landing pads will be free if you don't resave or save it and then reload that save the ship that you just had will stay on the pad but when you reload it, it's gone. So that leaves the pad open for the ships to land. And there we go. You see, my other ship, which was over there, is gone. So I'm left with mine. No longer Miss B. <laughs> but I shall rename her. And there we go. Now I've, um, I've worked this out. I will not upgrade these ships, except for the absolute necessary, like the pulse engine and that to fly around in. Um, but um, I won't upgrade them now until I'm happy with a ship if I've found an S-Class but these I won't look at now because I'm not interested in buying them just if they've got any stuff that I want and so that's what I'm doing here oh, some more over there and just keep looking at them to buy the stuff whatever you want to buy but these are very rare products that I'm wanting because you never see them anywhere. See, a lot of ships don't have it. Oh, don't piss off. I'm willing to buy from you. Um, no more. Oh, yeah, there's a fighter over there. And you do this with each ship class. So once you've, you're happy with the current, like for me, once I get happy with the Explorer, if I ever find a S class for her, um, then go to your next one you want to upgrade. No, nothing on him. But you need to be in the ship that you want to upgrade. No, oh, that's the way I would do it. Oh, there's a... <laughs> and, um, there seems to be a lot of these new fight... new, say, the original craft fighters about. But the stats on some of them, I'm not going to look at it because um, I don't want it at the moment. No. Hasn't got any goods that I want. 
Oh, there we go. Some more. And you do need a busy station, though. You need, do need a busy trading station for this to be um, reasonably viable. Come on. Oh, there we go. He's got some Murray and Cool. And just buy it. That's all I've been doing. Looking for that. As well as obviously trying to upgrade the current ship. So this is my method. I'm going to cut the recording because obviously it's going to take a while I reckon. Oh look more marine. I think it's probably going to take a while. Um, but as I said I'll cut the recording down. I'll edit it out. Oh no, there's another one, look. Come on you explorers, start landing. That's the ones I'm really looking for now, to upgrade this explorer. No, nothing, nothing I want. Nope. Oh, one, look, there's one. Yeah, I've got full packs, so I should be able to get there. Oh, little go, 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 go. Hit the lamppost. I don't like these styles, though. <laughs> I'm just praying a wasp comes along and... Um, I get a decent one of there. Oh, eight, oh shit. Oh, it's 19 slots as well. Um, <laughs> you see what I mean? Keep going from one to the other. Um, but is this better? Not really. Let's have a look at the uh, format. Um, he says that's the bad thing if I want to use it as Explorer because I can't put the warp reactors next to that if I had a theta for this. Same with this one, you can't put it next to the hyperdrive. That's the only bad thing. Um, but no, I'm not going to try buying. I'm not going to buy that one. But let's see what he's got on him. If anything. Oh yeah, he's got Omegon, which is cool. You need to use that um, when you're upgrading some of your stuff. So you need plenty of that. Right, where's the next one? Oh, there's another one over there. Come on, get there. Did I check him? That's the only trouble I don't remember if I've checked them before. I oh, might be wasting your time. I probably have, I think. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, I did, didn't I? Did I check him? Yeah, I think I did. Did I? Oh, everything's up on this one. Shit. Uh, it's one million five hundred sixty eight watts. The shield's okay. The pulse engine's no. See again, that's in the wrong place. That's okay. Eleven percent, forty-three percent hydrogen. Should you know? <coughs> See, this is what I mean about spending the money. You just keep going as you go. Yeah, I know. I don't like this style, but... Who knows what's around the corner, eh? Let's give it a go. I'll have the stuff out of you, mate. Same with you. And... Accept. Oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> But he's got better stats, so, you know, give it a go. You never know what's going to come along. And save. And shall I reload? Uh, yeah, that's my old one. See, there's the old one there now. When I reload the save, it will be gone. Yeah, this is a long process, guys. This is the way I've decided to do it. Because I finally found the S-Class, like you saw. And um, I'm hoping I can do the same with all of them. So we get the S-Class um, ship. It might take ages, who knows. It depends on how much patience you've got. I know a lot of gamers don't. <laughs> uh, but there you go. I've got the patience of a saint, me. I really have. Um, if I want something, I will take spend hours just doing it to get what I want. It's just the way I'm made. Hello folks, Fox Road back again. Um, 
Yes, it's been a while since I um, was trying to find this uh, explorer, but patience um, wins overall because look what I found at last. This did take a while, guys. So I had to I had to actually stop um, recording because I was going in. It was an hour and a half. Um, the fire was dry huge, so um, I stopped recording. And then started just carried on doing what I was doing initially when I was uh, showing you in the first part of this video. Um, I've cut quite a bit out now, but as you see in front of you, I've now found an S class explorer and she's how I want her apart from the shielding, um, which you know I'll accept, but at least now the hyperdrive's in line, so if I ever find a theta drive. I can bung it in here. I will leave a space to this space here so they're all together when I upgrade that properly. Um, what I did was um, I was actually I got fed up with looking for another explorer because that's the one where you see I've um, named him Spike <laughs> because of these stupid things but I just don't like that one but luckily enough now I've got that um, S-Class one. But this is the one I found when I was recording if you remember from the beginning and um, I went back to my ship, got into um, the fighter that I'd bought in the freighter, um, the starter style ship, to come down to buy a fight, fighter. But I was still checking the explorers as they landed. And this one landed while I was in the fighter. And um, so I ch exchanged the fighter for this. So now I'm going to have to look for another fighter in my freighter, which I think I've done now. I can't remember now because it's been a while I didn't do this straight away but so now I'm happy with her I will take her back to the oh wait a minute is my freighter above me oh yes I couldn't remember because I've come back okay so I'll go back in my freighter and what I'm going to do this time try to upgrade the um, cargo like I said initially this is a pain in the ass it's gonna take a while to um, get what you need oh, that's a cool picture look at that look at that color all that color um, it is a pain in the ass to do this but if you want the um, S-Class ships initially it might be a waste of time because their um, what do you call it their slots are pretty slim I reckon like I said in the uh, the first part of the video in the outside parts of the galaxy they're probably not going to be 48 slots it's going to be a lot less so yeah it's a long uh, process and you definitely need the money um, so you've got to make your money first um, oh yeah I've still got this other one. Oh, this is the one did I get a five cylinder? I can't remember what I did with this oh no he's always he's just landed didn't he <laughs> I thought it was one of mine it's crap anyway um, what's this one Oh, he's a landing one, isn't he? Oh, no, that, oh, of course, that's Spike. So I've got to get rid of Spike. And what I'm going to do now, because I want to get rid of him, you see, that's me um, S-Class one, Miss Hippo. Not Miss Hippo, um, what have I named her? <laughs> I'm getting seen on I really am. Oh, Miss Bluebell, there we go. <laughs> She's the S-Class one, the first one that I found. Um, now, technically, I could go down and try and upgrade the um, cargo. I want to do because I want to get rid of this one I don't need him anymore um, I will use that to go back down and find either a better cargo or a better fighter now let's have a look what we got oh, I need a fighter don't I yeah let's go and try and find a fighter first take him down to get rid of it and see what we find Don't need another explorer. 
later on you will do as you go into the centre if you want to get 48 slot ship have them all 48 slots but I reckon like I said before in the first part of the video that um, I don't think you're going to find 48 slots in these outer galaxies you have to go in further that's the way it seems I've looked at a lot of ships that's taken me over two and a half hours to find that um, particular ship that's laying in the in the grass so it's not on the thing I want to land down here somewhere so all the there we go so all the landing pads are free but yeah I've looked at a lot of ships and not a single um, ship has come above 28 or 30 slots and those 28 and 30 slots are quite rare hey folks I came um, I've come back more or less straight away after saying that I was going to cut the video look what I found it's not S class but it's designated as a fighter and it's a blue one and it's uh, A class but look at the price see 12 million that's why you need money um, as it's got 28 slots and it's what I'm looking for other than it not being S but I need it just in case I don't find it but this is why you need the money because I'm still going to carry on looking um, <laughs> it's ironic isn't it I stopped um, recording and then once I stopped recording I was carrying on playing obviously to find one the first one I looked at which was this after stopping the recording and here it is um, yeah <laughs> that's sod's law isn't it and I've got myself an A-class fighter cost a bit though so yeah my money's being drained so that's done so that's now mine let's do a save and get it off the t um, I'm gonna get it off will I be able to go hold on pulse engine yeah get some of that in put that in let's get off the thing and then on the ground so that frees up all the landing spots see there's my old ship there I don't need her him anymore sorry Spike you're long gone and um, reload the save not that it matters now because he's not on the uh, pad but I don't know if that does anything with the RNG why and you do it reload and resets the algorithms and all that shit that I don't really understand <laughs> but um, yeah <coughs> okay so I've got my A-class fire now let's see if I can find a S-class what I'm gonna do is probably cut it again and we'll see <laughs> but yeah that was more or less straight away after cutting the video or stopping the recording I found them straight away so let's just give it a couple of minutes and see how we go and see if I can find an S-class and like I said before yeah, I'm a bit OCD like that if I want something I will persevere until I find it so yeah you need a lot of patience and it's not everyone's cup of tea oh did I look in there let's have a look at him don't fly away yet mate Nah, obviously not. <laughs> you know, that thing called hope. We all have it, don't we? To a degree. Oh, another one. How's it? Oh, yeah. My backpack is fine. B. Okay. I've looked at that one. No more. No. Okay. Live support at seventy-five percent. That's all he's jumping around on doing. It looks cool. Look at that. That view. Where's the um, station? Was it that side? Now I can't see it. Or oh, maybe just in daylight then. Um, 
the station gone now? Hmm. Maybe it was from up there. I'm not watching the ships now, am I? No, I'm not looking at explorers again. Sorry. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, oh, I thought I was going to drop then. I really shouldn't look at them. I really shouldn't, so I'm not going there. Now I've got my S-Class, albeit uh, the um, inventory is um, not too great. I like these style of ships, I do like them, but that's obviously got to be my next look. Anyway, I'm going to cut it again and see what happens because it's going to be too long otherwise. And I am going to persevere and try and find an S. Hey guys, come back. Guess what? It's been a while, it's been about an hour and 20 minutes but I changed my ship I bought another ship and um, I obtained um, hold on I don't want to lose this ship because look here there we go another S class now what I did was earlier on um, I went back to my freighter and bought um, a cheap one that came in it took ages for one because my freighter hardly has any traffic the first ship that came in I just um, bought came down and swapped it for this which was an A class which wasn't too bad it's got better shields than this but look at this S class at last one hour and 20 minutes roughly that's taken to find this one from stopping out the previous video so Am I going to accept it? Of course I bloody well am. <laughs> um, I found now, noticing and watching all these ships, these type of, um, this style of ship, at the moment, present moment, in my game time and where I am, it doesn't have more than 19 slots. I've never seen one go above 19. They seem to start at between 15 and 19 slots. They don't get any bigger. Now the blue starter type ship, they're 20 and above. So... Um, yeah, there, there's a difference, and I found that in because I looked at hundreds of ships by now. I found that in all of the ones that I've seen, they're all around that. So these ships don't seem to be the one I'm now going to claim. Don't seem to be at this stage more than 19 slots. So I'm going to have two fighters, one like this style, which is the style I actually like, and um, <laughs> the starter style. Now the starter style is in my um, freighter now. Now that I've got this one, I will put this one in my freighter and bring down my starter style one. And there we go. And um, do the same to get an S variation of that. Because now I've got one, two, two S styles, the shuttle, uh, Miss Wasp finally. And obviously um, this is my original. Now I've got a fighter just like my original um, style um, in S range, so that I've got three S ships. Now I'm going to pick her up, Blue Bottle, which I've named her. <laughs> and um, as you can see, she's an A rating. I will try and find an S rating for that, which will be the same um, rigmarole as I've just done with this one. So I'm going to put this one away and bring that one down and see how long that takes. So I'll catch you in the next one. Or the next part of this one anyway. Hello folks. Voxlow here again. Um, as you can see in front of you. I've now found another S-Class ship. The hauler. Um, this is now taking me. I don't know. I can't remember what time I started. I think this is at least four hours in now. Um, I haven't found um, an S-Class for the um, starter looking Right, so I just changed it to this because I was fed up looking for that one so I've just found this but it's 11.2 million so yeah I'm looking at my um, I started off with 150 million I've now got 115 so yeah it's an expensive way of doing it um, but yeah so now I've got this one as this so here we go let's buy it and it's 31 one more slot I found that the um, the haulers are between 30 and 32 slots. The um, starter looking 
fighter is 20 and above and the others are 20 and below um, with the amount of ships that I've looked at they're all exactly the same so I've got to decommission all this lot which um, I really shouldn't have done initially but I didn't realize that I was going to look for these S ships so I've done that now so not to worry can all be done again well you can't do them can you okay let's put them away oh and you get a vortex cube that's cool now 11.2 million I'm gonna have to do a lot of farming now to get my money back well hey so I have my um, I don't like this style but you can't say no to it can you I've already got a name for her her name's gonna be slim <laughs> yeah absolutely um, but cool now <coughs> let's take a screeny um, let's name her first Yeah, they're all miss. Oh, oops. They're all misses. Sorry, misses. They're all female for me. Miss Slim. I always put their number in. I don't know why, but I just do. S97. Miss Slim S97. All right. Done. Um, let's take a screeny. All my other screenies are gone, so let's um, have a look. Um, file explorer, where are they, where are they, where are they screenies, oh, here they are, blue bowl, <laughs> and diamond, star, miss, where are they, that blue bell, yeah, blue bell, miss dragonfly, well miss hippo's now gone, so I can delete that one, Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm going to rename that. Miss Slim. Where are they? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Now, who am I missing? That one got up there. This is so you remember what you've um, got on your ships. Oh, go away, no one that. Collection album folder, oh, that's cool. Um, so this is how I would do it, then put them on your desktop. And you can always look at them to see what's on their ships for the ones that you aren't actually in. Always the one that you aren't actually in. That doesn't sound English, does it? Um, who's missing? Let's have a look, who's missing? Anybody? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, um... Mew yeah, is missing. See, I've still got to get the S on that. I haven't found the S for that yet. Um... Hmm, someone's missing, who's missing? Oh, what's going on here? Most used. Why has that come up? That's weird. Oh, well, I'll look at it later. Um, yeah, so that's what I would do. So I'm now going to go back and give it a rest now. I mean, that's four four hours nearly. Yeah, four hours trying to find these S ships. But because of that, though, I've got four of them, um, which is cool. One, two, three, and with that one, four. Um, so, loving it. So... I'll have to try and um, I'm not going to put this one on video now um, I'll leave that as a if I find one I'm not I'm going to stop searching for the moment I need to make my money back so I'll do that and I'll put this video up as it is um, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it it's been a bit boring I suppose but this is just to show you one way of getting the um, S-Class ships and it's a long haul I'll tell you and you need a lot of money um, so that's my main reason for putting this up because this is my way of finding an S-Class ship 
albeit they're not 48 slots but then you're going to have to do this again when you get further into the system I would think um, as the game progresses or you could just be lucky and strike the first one you come to and you get your S ship um, who knows you know what RNG is like anyway guys if you did watch thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the next one